Well, better conditions in Melbourne for our cricketers, but not exactly helping the result. We thought we'd have a look at play off the field and check in with the voices of the Australian summer. What do Nines cricket commentators get up to when they're away from the microphone? We spent the day with Richie and the team to find out. At that instant, I'm extremely nervous. <laughs> Well, as you see it. And something's not quite right. In a sanctum, this is a place of mystery and secrets. The secrets and everything else start out in the middle before a ball is even bowled. And for commentators, rain doesn't just stop play, it can stop their pitch report as well. All right, let's go to the studio. Let's change now. Let's go straight up. Is that everyone? Yep, everyone. Yeah. Everyone to the studio. They're nothing if not <laughs> versatile. Just got to. Fly by the seat of your pants, I suppose. On a rainy day like this? Yeah, yeah, I am. This is Melbourne. Out of the rain and high above the MCG, the preparations begin. Makeup for Tony Gregg, but Ian Chappell does his own hair. There's Warney's late breakfast, and when the greatest of all isn't on air talking about cricket. They made enough to set us uh, what was important total. He's hunched over a PC, getting ready to talk about cricket. Do you ever get nervous going back into the commentary box? Uh, not, I don't get nervous going back into the commentary box, but as soon as I get a microphone in my hand, I'm nervous. And if I were not nervous, I might as well not bother doing the job. It's been a few years now since Richie handed hosting duties to Mark Nicholas, who says the job is like no other. You're in a dream world, aren't you? You're, you're living with all the people in the sport that, that you enjoy and, and you travel the world. And... Yeah, it's a pretty, pretty special way to earn a few bucks. The team, when they're not calling the game, spend time together. Some on their computers, but not all of them. What do you do in the little bits in between, Bill? Well, I watch. I'm a, I'm a watcher. I don't, most of the guys bring their computer and do some work and look up stats, but I, I watch every ball. I always have. But look, we have a ball. I think it's uh, the second best job in the world, having uh, you know play. That's number one, and this is the, the, the second best, given that we can talk about the game we're passionate about. We haven't had a whole lot of jobs, have we? This is a proper job. Yeah, but I mean before this. And while slats and heels rev each other up, Tony Gregg's a little more organised. I always carry a, a little notebook. And that last session, for example, I went in with uh, the fact that we had record ratings yesterday, which is, uh, which is great. It's always a good sign. Yeah, always a good sign. I went in with the fact that uh, this was the lowest score at the MCG by Australia in 133 years. So this is where the preparation happens, but don't be fooled, the commentators get some exercise during the day as well. It's about a 15 or 20 metre walk from in there to where the magic happens, the commentary box and the best seats in the house. It's an extraordinary view, but actually a pretty confined space. Crammed not only with commentators, but statisticians and producers. There's a commentary roster on the wall, so no excuse for being late. And shift change, well, it can have its share of troubles. Oh, yeah, that's karma, mate. That's karma, mate. Yeah. I find one of the enjoyments is working with a different commentator. No two commentators are the same. Heels is different of Mark Taylor, and um, it just works well. Great look behind the scenes. And, of course, you can catch Richie and the boys right here on Nine for the third day's play tomorrow. We certainly need a few early wickets in the morning and maybe a miracle.